All right, so we're going to do a little bit of a bit rate calculation. Okay, first we're going to we're going to write a script that will take in a file and take in a bit rate. Okay, and then calculate the final size of the file so we can use it for our video encoder program here. Okay, uh, we have a, quite a bit of setup to do, so let's get started and then we'll do some testing. Okay, so we need to start with we need to store FFmpeg location. Okay, and in my case. Um, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna just be copying and pasting so I can save some time. Uh, mine slash users. I'm gonna take in a post user so I can change it in my encoding program. See, I'm taking in the username right here. Um, so to post user, and then it's in the, mine's in the ffmpeg folder, and then ffmpeg is the bin. Okay. Then uh, I want to get some needed uh, vars here, and we're gonna get, like I said, the source and the bit rate. Okay. Uh, the source is going to be the file that's going to be here, and then the bit rate it's going to be one of these two, 550 or 400. Uh, yep. And then uh, basically FFmpeg cannot have any spaces. Okay. We're going to be running this over the command line, so when you do things over the command line, you can't use any spaces. All right. So we're going to do a quick uh, preg replace. Oops. Right here, which is going to basically take our source, replace all spaces with backslash spaces. Okay. Uh, now we need to basically uh, get the video details. And to do that, we're going to use FFmpeg. And I'll paste this here, just so you can see it. Don't worry about that. We're just storing it at, in, in an array so we can give give back two kind, more than one kind of use information. We're going to JSON encode it in the end. But we're basically just going to use a shell exec. We're going to use the FFmpeg up here, so we're going to call the FFmpeg program dash i for input, and then the the file that we want to use, and then this two greater than and one is going to output the the result of shell exec to this variable. If we don't have this, then this is not going to return anything. That's the key here. So let's at this point let's show you what it's going to return back to us. So um, I'm going to pull over uh, this here. We're going to right click and do copy path unix let's bring up this prompt let's give this some space okay so we're going to do ffmpeg i don't have to do the find because when i'm in the when i'm in the terminal here it, if i just type in ffmpeg it, it knows see here it already knows but it says you need to you need to use a file so i'll do ffmpeg dash i and then the path to the file and if i do that it gives me uh it gives me information about the file. So it says, here's the file right here. It was made with QuickTime. Um, it's got, here's the original bitrate right there. Um, what we're interested in, though, is the duration, which is right here. Why are we interested in that? Well, to calculate file size, you do duration of the video multiplied by the bitrate that gives you that kind of gives you the final file size it's not a hundred percent accurate but it's the best that I have figured out so far okay so basically since this is the output of FFmpeg we're gonna grab that we're gonna make let this happen and then parse out the duration this part right here okay that's what we're gonna do so we've got data FF which is great so now what we want to do is we need to we need to come up with a regex basically so now we're gonna have some regex fun because we need to parse out from all this that so before we continue let's echo out our data FF here and let's just get some variables up here so we're gonna store post user equals Sean because that's my username and then post source equals and that should be equal to that and then underscore post bitrate and I'm just storing these here because I'm gonna run this file separately outside of the program and that's gonna equal to 550 okay so let's save that and go there and that's gonna be called get final size.php okay so here's our result which is great so let's copy this result and go into our regex evaluator this is a plugin I have for, in an extension developer we're gonna go our regex evaluator great let's paste in that <clears throat> and we need to find uh, let's see duration and then we need to find the colon and let's look at this real quick 
uh, duration. So after the colon, there's a space, and then there's a bunch of numbers separated by colons, and then a comma is what ends it. Okay, that's perfect. Now we know our ending point. So, so to finish this regex, we're just going to search for everything that's n until we get to the comma. So everything that's not the comma we want. So we want bracket, and then the not, which is the caret, and then not comma, and then we want uh, one or more of this, so plus. Okay, and there's our numbers. Excellent. Um, but what we want to store here is we want to store that because right now if we look at this uh, we've got the word duration there so we actually need to match this just this part so we're going to wrap that in parentheses and that so you can see that matches um, can I get that to stay? No. You can see that matches zero is the whole thing and matches one is just the numbers that we want which is perfect then we can in PHP we can split that by colon so that's the regex that we want right here okay so let's go back into code and so let's use that regex. We're going to say preg match. Um, and regex goes in single quotes and then in slashes. There's our regex right there. And then we want to uh, we want to search in data ff. And then we want to store that into a variable called mat matches. OK, great. And so matches 1 is going to be the duration. So duration equals matches 1. Okay, and then we're going to split that into the array because now we've got um, <clears throat> now we've got just this part. So we need to split that. And the way this is split is we've got uh, it's split into hours, minutes, seconds, and then milliseconds. Well, we only need seconds. I mean, we need to calculate seconds. So we're going to ignore milliseconds. It's we could create the fraction out of it, which uh, maybe the fraction is what's uh, throwing me off a little bit. So you can calculate the frac the fraction in there, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to say seconds equals, and it's going to be uh, duration array. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to make this even better. We're going to say list hours minutes seconds milliseconds equals that so we're gonna say hours um, times 3600 to give you seconds plus and then minutes minutes plus or, I'm sorry minutes times should be 60 plus and then uh, seconds and that's gonna be the total number of seconds Okay, and then what we want to do is basically calculate the bitrate. So again, the bitrate is going to be it's um, it's the bitrate number, no, bitrate times duration, right? Which we said is seconds. So that's how you calculate it. Now keep in mind though that um, the bitrate is in kilobytes, right? We need bytes, so we actually have to take this. So this is this is kilobytes. Uh, times seconds so we actually need to divide that whole thing by 8 so that we get bytes okay and then um, the 8 is not actually for that the 8's because we have bits we're, we're in bit rate so we're at 550 kilobits so we gotta divide by 8 to get to bytes so now we're at kilobytes so now we need to multiply the result by 1024 because there's 1024 uh, bytes in a kilobyte okay so now we've got bytes per second here okay right <laughs> sorry that got me a little confused as I was saying that but yeah bytes per second now data and that's gonna be called size we're storing it in an array so I can echo it out later okay and then I'll leave it at this for now so we've got let's communicate this again this is five so we're, we're sending in 500 and we're saying we want 550 kilobits per second that's the bit rate okay so 550 kilobits times the number of seconds we need to get bits to bytes so we're gonna divide by 8 and then we need to get kilobytes into um, kilobytes into bytes okay and that's 1024 why are we doing bytes? Well, why do we want the size in bytes in the end? Because we're actually using local get here to just get the file size. We're comparing, we're, we're repeatedly checking the file size of the file as it's encoding, and that's how we're comparing it. Well, the return of, of this file size function is in bytes. That's why we need bytes, okay? 
So anyway, that, and then we will just echo JSON encode data like that, and that will echo out the data. Um, I, I'm going to do fake data here, so let me just save that and refresh. And of course, I have a PHP error. Uh, why would I do this and not have a PHP error? That that would be stupid, right? Why would that even happen? So let's uh, check out uh, what happened. So MAMP uh, logs. Let's see what it says. Syntax error parenthesis on line 28. Uh, 28 is right here. So I got messed up parentheses. So this surrounds that. That surrounds that. And I don't need this last one. Save, refresh, there we go. There's our output, and our size is 172056 bytes. So I've got 10 minutes. Uh, YouTube can do 15 now, so I'll actually show you this in use. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of this stuff and show you the app for real and kind of show you that it's close. It's not perfect, but it's close. So I'll save that, and I'll go back to the app itself. And let's... Um, bring that in like that and then bring over this right here like that um, MAMP let's see htdocs ffmpeg chris uh, logs okay so we're gonna copy path unix we're gonna, let's refresh this paste that in here we'll convert a safari and iphone uh, and a Firefox version. I'm not going to do WebM because it actually takes too long and you won't be able to watch the whole thing. 550 is fine. 400 is fine. Username. Okay, so go ahead and start converting. And yes, I'm okay with one file. And so we can watch this progress here. And if, if all goes according to plan, this should be close to 100. It's probably going to be a little bit over 100, but it should be pretty close. Um, and it'll take a little bit of adjusting. So 113. Not horrible. It's going to take some adjusting, and I'll tell you the adjustment in a second. Um, probably taking in account those milliseconds will help. So that was 112. So you can see I'm, a, I'm averaging over about the same amount. Um, so this is doing the Mozilla version, 19, 30, 40, 40, 45. Let's see us get to the end here, see how far off we are. It'll probably be around that 112 mark. Um, okay, I didn't see what the last part of that was. Anyway. Um, the, the fix that I've kind of found is to throw an extra set of parentheses on here. And then I've, I, I did this about 10 times, and I averaged how off it was. And it was off by about, um, about 70K, which, is a, which in bytes is 70,000, right? And it's off that much. So I've just added that on, and that's just by me averaging it out. So this is about how off it is. So now I'm getting a pretty accurate representation of how long it'll take to encode.